Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to turn a range of data into a table and that's table with a capital T because Excel has this object called a table which allows you certain other uh, extra controls which just a normal range like the one we're looking at here doesn't allow you. Okay, So the way you can do that is by highlighting the range that you want to convert. So highlight everything with the column headers. Go over to the insert tab at the top ribbon and choose table. And it will give you a dialog box and make sure if you that you include that you your table has headers. Click OK and you see it instantly made it look aesthetically pleasing. And you can play with all these and I, you know let's pick something very exotic. We'll zoom in a little. So it uh, made banded rows automatically, and it put these filter drop box, drop arrows here, so I can filter as well. And uh, there's a host of other things. Like if I decide to add another line of data, it would instantly pull that into my table and allow me to incorporate it into uh, with the, with the format that I already had so I don't have to reformat every time I add a new row or a row of data okay so let's see that again okay and if I do it it actually keeps it okay and I can undo that okay now some of the uh, capabilities that a table allows us well when we click on the table you see this pops up over here on the top right a new ribbon and this ribbon is the design ribbon there's a bunch of things here I want to go over uh, first is the table styles which you should uh, have some fun with okay and next thing is this little area over here called the table style options well here you can check and uncheck and play with these things but basically what this what these allow you to do is get rid of the header row include a total row which I'm going go, going to go into in more detail get uh, make the first column of your data solid color which will make it more uh, distinguished than the body of the data right in our case that will make sense because this is a little different this data over here is a little different than what I have over here okay so again this is what that did okay and next thing is last column in our case that does not make sense okay to include another demarcation at the last column all right banded row columns which will change the tone on every other column banded rows already is checked as you can see that's what that means and that's really cool for reading data where your eye can follow across the line and not get confused and read some uh, the wrong row. Okay, let me get to that total row. Let's click total row and it adds this row over here. And what this allows us to do is to go to the bottom of any of these columns and using this arrow, there's a bunch of functions as well as this option for more functions which we can choose. So we can click average and get the average for this column without having to type any formula. Okay, the next we can choose count for this guy and we can choose sum for this guy. Okay, very easy to get totals, subtotals, and things like that. Okay, now let's get back to the design. We can export data here and I'm not going to do, do much with that because that's going to require that's more advanced stuff and requires a lot more setup so if you want to export the data from here there's other ways to do this stuff I've never I never use it this way uh, what you can, another thing you can do is you can remove du duplicates in these tools subsection so if I click remove duplicates it allow me to choose which column column or columns I'm interested in and let's just choose the looms because in the looms we have many duplicates we have like five four, five jettas five Turks one marker so it'll get rid of all the duplicates if I hit OK there it says eight duplicates values found and removed three unique values remain which is what we expect 
but I don't want that I just want to demonstrate that you can remove duplicates quite easily you can summarize with a pivot table which if you click this it'll instantly take you into a pivot table and you can play around with that and we there's videos on pivot tables and pivot tables are even more important than tables so I encourage you to watch that video I've made on my channel about pivot tables and one last thing I wanted to show was how you can go back from a table into a regular range like we started with before we created a table and the way you do that is click anywhere on the table go to convert to range click that and it will say do you want to convert the table to a normal range and say yes and now it keeps the aesthetics the visual formatting but it's no longer a table it's no longer longer a official quote unquote table in Excel it's just a normal range of data which we're used to using in countless examples we've done before okay so in this way you can go back to an original range of data so tables are quite useful and you can see they do have their advantages I personally very seldom use them although I'm starting to see some of their value I like to stick more with just the normal ranges but there are some things that are more efficient to do in tables as opposed to a normal range so I hope this video was helpful uh, subscribe to my channel watch my other uh, tutorial videos in Excel access PowerPoint and math till next time have a great day